PR section of our company failed before it started because we had a lot of people blaming us like, oh, the journalists didn't know what they were talking about. They didn't know what questions to ask. They didn't even have nauli kwenda kwa semu ambazo alikuwa naenda. The client did not specify exactly what was needed, areas mm-hmm. that needed to go. Mm-hmm. So it was a failure. And uh, I remember I cried for three days, locked myself in, in, in my house after that. Mm-hmm. But then it taught us a very valuable lesson that you have to prepare for everything and something like that needed further further preparation from the client how to take them walk them towards it every single step sometimes we look at these big companies and we think oh they surely know what they're doing mm-hmm. they'll just give us everything and we'll just go away it doesn't work like that mm-hmm. you have to walk, shake their hand and walk them through it some mm-hmm. of them are not aware of what it takes to You have to prepare them. for everything. Everything. Hmm. Yeah. So with that lesson, didn't you pursue it a little bit further? Knowing that, okay, next time, a brief, lazima nekikisha, lazima nekikisha, lazima nekikisha. We incorporated, we incorporated PR into their packages. Like if you advertise that, we'd incorporate PR in that. Hmm. So three, four months before, we'd have all the information that we need. Hmm. But we never called it PR anymore. <laughs> What do you call it? Activation. Activations. <laughs> okay, okay. So. so it made it less formal. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Some heal alone um, whenever they're going through a tough time. Others need others to be able to kind of go through a rough time, especially when stuff doesn't go how you expect it, how you expected it to go. Um, which personality are you? I'm, I'm a crier. <laughs> I'm I'm a big cry. I'm not even ashamed about it. I so I'm a last born. So shamelessly, I would go back home to my parents and cry my mm. eyes out. Mm. But one thing I've learned is self-expression. You should really let yourself feel and let all that go and not bundle yourself in in inside the failure because one way one thing I've learned about failure is that unajua kama mtoto mtoto anaelewa kwamba yeye ni mtoto kwa they don't struggle to put on their nappies if they can they won't they can't mm. do you understand kwamba yeye ni mtoto <laughs> when you understand kwamba yeye ni mtoto you will not struggle with failure you will take it as a learning point you know and that's one way that i always looked at it it never really faced me because whenever i felt like something is is huge upon myself i would really let myself go and say i want to bask in this learn in this and see how to tackle this i can sit down for a whole day uh relearn everything that i thought was not working and sure how do i walk alongside it mm. yeah do you believe in manifestation uh, no and yes no and yes <laughs> yes what's the no what's the yes um The no is I don't feel like you can sit in one corner and say something and it happens. Mm-hmm. The yes is the stronger your belief system, the bigger your outcome. But your belief system has to work with action. Mm. Many people when they think of manifestation, they just think you can sit in a corner, say something and it happens. But your action towards it will actually determine if it will or not. That's very true. Yeah. That's very true. 